Hi everyone, I thought I'd show you this useful little application here called YPPA Manager. It's for managing the repositories that you've added to Ubuntu, and it also lets you find new repositories to add through the search in all launchpad PPAs. So if you don't already know, repositories are a way of extending the catalogue of applications you've got available to your computer. You can automatically get updates for rep repositories. This has a good advantage over the standard software sources application in that there's this bug in software properties GTK, that's the GUI method of adding repositories, and it does not download a PPA signing key from Launchpad. So every time you try to add something through there, it comes up with a warning, ooh, this PPA is untrusted, you sure you want to use it? Yeah, you just have downloaded a PPA signing key from Launchpad. And I raised that bug, it seems to have gone pretty unnoticed so far. So. Useful if you can add your name to that one, say it affects me. Might, they might do something about it by next release. Anyway, I want to show you this feature here. Search in all Launchpad PPAs. So, say I'm after the Fender icon set. You can search through there. And we can see there's all these various repositories that have Fender in them. I go list packages, and that tells me that one's not compatible because inevitably they've been built some time ago and not been updated. Now, the correct one to use is that one there. So I can go, well, I'll list all packages first, and I'll get yeah, all those packages available to me if I add that repository. I can even open it up in the browser. Or download the selected packages without adding the PPA, I think that'll be. Anyway, let's go back to that list, we'll add that one there. It's popped in my administrator password. Now, let, whilst it's doing that, let's show you some of the other features. So we've got list packages in a PPA enabled on your computer. So these are the ones that I've added. And I could look at that one and think, what does that do? I can't remember. I go list packages. Ah, it is Wireshark and a few applications that come with Wireshark. Now it's not all those that are installed, but all those that are, those are available to my version of Ubuntu. Ah, well, it also comes with the standard features of add and remove, and even an advanced method like PPA purge. That's handy if you've installed a repository, added loads of software from it, and it's broken something. You could use the PPA purge to try and get back to how you were. So, useful feature that. Right, it has been added and the repository list updated. It takes a little while, my internet connection isn't brilliant, and there's quite a lot of repositories in my system. It takes a while to download the list now. Right, now let's just take a quick look at the settings. Our PPA purge, manual, automatic. Yeah, probably go with the manual one there because it probably ask you quite a lot of questions. Are you sure you want to remove this package? Yeah or no. Into indicator. Right. Let's cancel that. Close that there. Go to the software center. Could also do this through Synaptic if you've installed it. But it doesn't come installed by default in Ubuntu 11.10. Right, I've got all software. Ah, look, the PPA is named as something different again. Oh, isn't that confusing? You know, I know the one that I've just added is called Equinox. And I can install the software through there. Which I'll have a play with in another video. There's one other thing I'll mention here. The list of repositories I've been working on. I've just got to open up my Twitter feed and it was uh, that one. List of useful Ubuntu repos. That I've been building up over time and gradually getting there, updating it. I'll leave a note of that in the description below. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you later.